is Charles. He's 17 and he has what many people call a girl's illness. I thought that every bit of food I ate would put on weight. I just didn't feel comfortable as, as myself. He's been anorexic for at least two years, but now finally feels ready to talk about his secret. He's going back to his school, to his friends, to have the conversation he never thought he would. I don't know how they're going to react. <laughs> Big breath. You'll be great. And for the first time, cameras have been allowed into the unit where Charles has been treated. So this is the ward. I am going to take you down the scary corridor. This is the kitchen. My first meal on the ward, I didn't really know what to expect. And you could just see that everyone was stressed out. This is one of the bays. So that's where the patients sleep. But I wasn't allowed in here because I'm not a girl. So I had to be separated and sleep in the other bay. It was quite lonely, but we used to kind of come together in the evening anyway and play games. But being the only guy among so many girls can have its upsides. Charles met his girlfriend Lucy here. She also has an eating disorder. Basically, we vandalised this room. It's like somewhere under here. <laughs> yeah. That's not the day that we died. It's <laughs> the time that we was here. The biggest thing with Charles was that he was always the class clown. Happy-go-lucky, fun-loving. I think he was generally um, seen as the person people met. He was a magnet too. It starts off with healthy eating. I'm eating healthily. I wasn't aware of his weight loss until I caught a glimpse of him getting into the bath one day. Um, and he just looked so thin, um, almost like a famine child. Charles says he didn't actually know he had an eating disorder. Neither did his parents or his older brother. But he had been working out loads, starving himself for weeks and hiding food in his room. There was a lot of secrecy. But on Boxing Day 2014, he collapsed and was rushed to hospital. And it was horrible. It was just really horrible coming home. And his bedroom was empty. And it was, I was just distraught because his bedroom was empty. He was in hospital for the first time in his life. He wasn't in that room. You know, you look back and think, well, is it, is it something I've done? Or, you know, can I blame myself? Um, I'm not sure that I am getting a better understanding, you, you just sometimes can't reason with it. It just seems so irrational. It's almost like a grieving because I don't, I still think of him as that child and I don't recognise a lot of what he's been going through as him. So yeah, I kind of grieve the child that, that he was. As Charles's anorexia developed, he pulled away from friends. He hasn't seen his classmates in almost two years, and in a few weeks' time, he's hoping to have an honest discussion with them about his eating problems. It's something that just a few months ago, he'd never have imagined doing. The box is to represent how you're feeling. Charles has no idea how they'll react, especially the guys in his class. After all, since he began his treatment, he's mostly been surrounded by girls. So ignore this bit, but this is the outside, and then the inside I'm going to do some stuff to it. But before that, he's got to prepare to reset his GCSEs. There's a school at the hospital. It's only one room, so we're in here for, like, the whole day. It's very different to my old school. Charles is back living at home, but he's here most days, and in between classes he has counselling sessions, many of them with Sam. The boys that I've treated have always usually been terribly unwell when they first kind of present. They may be eating kind of quite well, but they're exercising like crazy. Sam will be weighing Charles in a few days and he dreads it. 
In fact, everyone here has good days and bad days. It's easy to get overwhelmed. Is there any particular patient over the years who's really stuck with you? Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. I think I've got a lot of patients that stick stick in my mind. Um, and you learn a lot from them. Sorry. <laughs> Charles and Lucy have been together for nearly a year. Their favourite place to go to is Camden Food Market. And although they say they don't go near most of the food, it's clear that they spend a lot of time obsessing over what they will or won't eat. Our Instagram accounts are based on recovery. It's inspiring to other people because they might be scared to have it and they might think, OK, well, if Pasta Princess and Pasta Prince can have it, then so can I. It's Charles's weekly weigh-in, and he hates it. He has a target weight, but the thought of reaching that weight scares him. I usually make sure I don't drink anything or eat much before I get away. OK, shall we go and, go and do the honours? <laughs> Knowing that I have a goal, it makes me feel like I have to go for it, whether I like it or not because I know that if I didn't reach it, then I would be back in the place I was before. Okay. To be weighed is horrendously anxiety provoking. One minute you can look at numbers and be kind of pleased that they've gone up because you've really worked hard. And then half an hour later, you're devastated. But do you want to know what you weighed is today or not know? No. He allowed us to film today if we agreed to only show his face. OK, all right then. All right, so let's... Yeah. That's it. Wait till it gets to okay. zero. He didn't want us to see okay. the scales, okay. but it means you also can't see his hands are shaking. OK, that's it. OK. Great. It kind of does change the way you feel, because you haven't known your weight throughout the day, then suddenly seeing it... It just stays on your mind a bit. How do you feel about that? OK. You feel OK? Mm -hmm. A couple of hours after his weigh-in, Charles had a panic attack. He'd seemed fine, but was actually totally overwhelmed. He's fragile, and that's typical of someone still battling to get better. I think I just had quite a stressful day overall, because I had meetings with my doctors and I had the weighing and they were talking about my therapy coming to an end soon. So I think everything just got to me. The thought of returning to see his classmates after almost two years is also playing on his mind. He's having serious doubts and considers pulling out. It feels like a big change because it's all happened so quickly and now it's coming to an end in a way. So it's quite new to me. But Charles is determined to recover. He wants his old life back, and that means being brave. So we are off to my old school. I'm going to see some of my old friends. It is a long time, and to go back is a bit scary. I'm still a bit scared. It is bringing back memories. A lot of memories. I just don't know what to expect. They've kind of seen me at my worst, and so I don't know how they're going to react. <laughs> Big breath. You'll be great. Hello. 
Where do I sit? <laughs> I've been in hospital. I've been in a school in the hospital. Do you people know about it? Well, well, how was it for you? A bit awkward. Most of the patients were girls. So I was like the only boy. I was going to say, when do you think you realised that you had an eating disorder? And also, like, do you think people around you noticed? A lot of you would have Remembered I used to wear my PE jacket all the time, even in the summer. <laughs> That's because people kept saying I was really thin. I kind of knew about it, but I didn't really get... I didn't know what it was, so I didn't really go and get help early. I never would have guessed, like, I would have been eating disorder. I kind of, I kind of knew something was up, but I could, it never really occurred to me that that would be the like, problem. I kind of use it in a way to show others that they can get through it too. Like I'm still me and I'm still just a teenager, so I'm not like some alien. Do you feel like you're ready to rebuild, to get back to the position you was in before? I want to kind of just get back to you guys. Open and honest, yeah. like we were just saying, like, our answers, we were kind of like shocked how honest they were, it was like quite brave, I think. I kind of knew something was up with Charles, but like I wouldn't guess it was the English. So Charles is normally like a cool, cup, like confident kind of guy. I'm feeling happy. How happy? Very happy because I'm seeing my old friends and it just feels good to be with them again. <laughs> Gonna have parties, go out. I feel more connected with reality. And I just feel like the old me.